everyone, this is Nicolette Mason from Marie Claire's Big Girl in the Skinny World and I'm here on YouTube's Hello Style channel answering your questions and today is all about shoes. Our first question is from Night Dream Princess who asks, like most big girls I have trouble wearing heels comfortably, sometimes they just don't work and I can't walk in them. Any tips on high heels for big girls? I have loads of tips. I actually am one of those girls who prefers wearing heels to flats. I know, I might be a little bit of a masochist. So one of the things that you wanna do with a new pair of heels is give yourself a couple of days to break them in. One trick that I do is to wear my shoes at home for a couple of days, just doing normal tasks like cooking and cleaning with some really thick socks on and the heels that I'm kind of terrified of wearing out on the streets just yet. Another product that you want to look for is Band-Aid Blister Block. It looks like a tiny little stick of deodorant, it comes in a blue tube, and it's a lifesaver, especially when you're wearing a new pair of shoes. You just want to slather a layer onto your feet before slipping your new shoes on, and it'll save your feet from being rubbed raw and filled with blisters, and I promise it'll make breaking in your heels a lot more bearable. As for some styles that are more comfortable for big girls, I definitely think a chunky heel or a wedge will be a lifesaver for you. You wanna look for a heel that has plenty of support. The whole notion of trying to wear a little tiny stiletto, it just might not be feasible. I know I can't wear a stiletto heel, and that's just something I've learned to embrace. There's so many other shoes out there that offer support and height that are comfortable, and there's no point torturing yourself for a pair of shoes that just might not work out. Our next question is from Ray Chuskis, who asks, Shoes are the worst part of shopping for me. I have huge feet. I think I may be a size 11 or 13, depending on where my feet are measured. There are no cute shoes for big-footed girls like me. So I'm a size nine and a half. I even have a hard time finding cute shoes sometimes, so I can't imagine what it's like to be a size 11 or 12 or 13, and I know plenty of you girls are out there and looking for cute shoe options. One amazing resource for girls with big feet is a site called Barefoot Test that offers shoes above a size 10 and up to a size 15. And some of the brands that they carry are super on trend, a variety of price points like Jeffrey Campbell, Boutique 9 by 9 West, Me Too, A Regular Choice, and Feral Robin. They're super trendy and they have tons of different styles, including heels, flats, boots. They even have their own line called BFT. So I definitely think it's worth checking out. Texas Pop Princess also asks for shoes in size 11 and 12, so if Barefoot Test isn't satisfying your craving, you might want to check out a few other websites. One of them is netaporte.com. They're a luxury retailer, and they have tons of amazing, really high-end designer options up to a size 12. So if you're looking for a really special splurge-worthy piece, like a YSL heel or Charlotte Olympia, something you might not have thought is available in your size, and you're ready to save up those bucks and invest in a pair of amazing shoes, it's definitely worth checking out. Another website that you want to check out for super affordable options is Evans, and they specialize in wide fits and all also in extended sizes up to a 12. One of my favorite pairs of shoes on the Evans website right now are a pair of Espadrille wedges with an open toe that are $18. They're so affordable, they're on sale, so get them before they disappear and you will have an incredible heel in your size for summer. Sayrox14 also asked about cute shoes and wide options. So another place you want to look is Nordstrom. They have an incredible variety of wide width shoes from some of their regular designers like Diane von Furstenberg who they have an exclusive line of wide width shoes from. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to Hello Style. I might be answering one of your questions in an upcoming video.